Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. It's been a while since I've done any videos on the applications from Xire. You may already know that they have two main applications, Xire Photo, which is a standalone app, and Xire Search, which is a Lightroom Classic plugin. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do multiple videos on both of these applications. In today's video, I'm going to give you an introduction to Xire Search. And as I mentioned, Xire Search is a Lightroom Classic plugin. And with it, you could greatly enhance the library module of Lightroom Classic. Now, once you download it from them and install it on your computer, it's going to automatically install itself as a plugin in Lightroom Classic, but you won't be able to use it yet. Before you're able to use it, you're going to have to do what they call initialize your photos. When you go through this initialization process, it's going to look at each and every image in your Lightroom library, and it's going to use AI to determine what's in that image, and then it's going to build its own custom keyword set. And with that custom keyword set, you'll be able to do lightning fast searches and a lot of other things that I'll be demonstrating throughout the videos I do on this application. Now, it's important to know that when you go through this initialization process, that it's not writing anything at all to your Lightroom catalog, nor is it writing anything to your images. That way you don't have to worry about it corrupting your Lightroom catalog or corrupting any of your images. And if you decide to uninstall it someday, it's very easy to uninstall because it's not intertwined with your Lightroom catalog. Now, once you install it on your computer, what you need to do is open up Lightroom Classic, go to the library module. This plugin resides in the library module. So in order to use it, you always have to be in the library module. To initialize your images, what you'll need to do is go up to library, down to the very bottom, plugin extras, and you'll see this very large section with XR search. A lot of different searches you could do. You could transfer keywords. Now, if you transfer keywords, what it's doing is all those AI cre keywords it created, and put it in its own database, you could actually copy those to Lightroom's catalog if you want to. Then, of course, it's writing to the catalog. You may not want to do that. But what you're going to need to do first is initialize those photos. And this is a process. This will take some time. So don't do this right before you have to edit a huge photo shoot. Do it when you could just let it run for a half hour to an hour, depending on how many images you have in your Lightroom catalog. And then, you have the option of when you import new images to reinitialize them or come in and initialize them, or you could actually initialize them during the import process. Uh, to do that, you would have to go to the settings for this plugin. To do that, go up to File, down to Plugin Manager. On the left hand side, scroll down to Xire Search. Now, from here, when you first buy it, you're going to have to enter your uh, license key. And you'll do that here. So go to, you know, this uh, plugin manager. And then at the very bottom, it has, or near the very bottom, I think it has, uh, somewhere around here, they have license. Here it is. And from here, at this point, is where you would enter your license. You also could go through and look at the different settings. You could back up the database. As I mentioned, it keeps its own database. You could restore a backed up one from here. You also could check for updates here, as you can see. Um, now, it has something called a search panel. In my next video, I'll be covering the search panel. I'm not going to talk about it here. Personally, I don't like the search panel to open every time I start up Lightroom Classic, so I have that off. You could dictate what preview size you want it to, you want it to use. Uh, if you have a slower, older computer, you want to use a smaller preview. If you have a larger computer, you may want to use a large preview. I don't use XR Search that much, so I have a small preview. That's no big deal. Um, fast initialization, I have that check, so it'll initialize very quickly. Uh, smart previews during initialization. Uh, by default, I mean, images, they have an embedded preview usually, and it's going to use that embedded preview. But if your image has a smart preview, which is more resolution, you may want it to look at that because it might find something that it can use, build a keyword with on that more resolute smart preview than it can in the embedded preview. If you have stacks, I don't use stacks myself, but if you have stacks, uh, you could have it so it only looks at the top photo in the stack to build its catalog of keywords. That just makes it go faster. 
you wanted to initialize videos as well, you could do that. I don't have any videos in my Lightroom catalog, so that doesn't matter. Now, here's where I talked about during import, you could have it initialized automatically. I have it do that. So when I import new images, those will get initialized, but I have it delay 300 seconds, which is, of course, five minutes. Um, and you have some other options. You could go through and see what they are. Nothing out of the ordinary here. And again, the main thing here is you, you go to this panel, though, to enter your, uh, your license key for the product. You'd come here to check for updates. And you might want to come here and uh, make sure that you're initializing during import. And then once you're done with this, you could just click done. Now, to actually use it, what you would do is, again, go to the library module, go up to library, down to plugin extras. And first of all, you can see we have a lot of different search options. Let's search by keywords since I'm talking about keywords so much. Now, you can see I had previous searches here. Just reset them all, just like that. So we're starting from scratch. Let's just say I want to find lighthouses. I'll just start to type lighthouse. I'll type in light, and you can see that I have one photo that's a light trail. We have 84 of a lighthouse. We have three of lightning and eight neon light. I want lighthouse, so I'll click plus. Now, I could stack this keyword with another keyword. Maybe I want a lighthouse that has, like, um, birds in it or something. So I could do bird like that. I could add that if I wanted to, but let's just say we don't. Um, you could put a dominant color. So I want lighthouses that also have blue. And you can see there's 19 photos of lighthouses that have blue in it. Or you could get rid of anything by clicking the little X. So let's just do the lighthouses. What's the maximum number of results you want displayed? Now there's only 82, so having it at 100 is fine. But maybe you have like, you know, 8,220 pictures of lighthouse and you want to look at the first 500. You could do that here. Do you want it to search the whole catalog or just what's down here in the film strip? So if you're in a folder, we'll only look in that folder. Um, or if you're in a collection for that matter, we'll only look in the collection. But we're going to do the whole catalog and we're going to overwrite previous results because what it will do is it will put them in a collection. So we'll do that. We'll click start. And when it does that, you can see it's lightning fast. It found all of these super fast and we're in an XR search collection. You can see they're all lighthouses, mainly the same lighthouse, but there's some different lighthouses in there as well. So there's lighthouses, just lighthouse after lighthouse after lighthouse like that. I even found like where I have a product box and on my product box, I have a lighthouse. It even found that. Now you want to do a new search. So we're going to go up to library, down to plugin extras, and let's do another keyword search. But it will remember what you just did. So remember that. So if I type in something here and I type, I don't know, um, like cat. All right, there's 100. So if I add cat, you notice it's not finding anything because I don't have any images that have a lighthouse and a cat in it. So just be aware of that. But I want to find cat. I want to maybe have with orange. So cats that have orange in the image. So there's two of those. You click start. We're going to re-overwrite the existing or previous results. You can see that we have two images there. Somehow there must be orange in there somewhere, maybe. I don't know. But again, go up to library, plug in extras, and let's try something a little bit different. Let's go down, instead of searching by keyword or anything like that, let's search by text prompt. So here, I'm just going to type in pointing. So what this means is, a person who is pointing. Now, how, like, you know, do you want it to just like be more like loose with its interpretation of someone pointing or more restrictive? Let's make it just a little more, more restrictive, like 20. We're going to search the whole catalog and we're going to have a maximum of a hundred and we're going to overwrite the previous results and click start. And you can see then it's finding images of people who are pointing. So you could see they're pointing like this, all images pointing. So just like that. So if you need a, a stock photo or something of someone pointing, you could see just like that. Very, very, very simple. Now in the description of this video, I have a link to their website. I'm pretty sure they have a fully working free trial and I'm pretty sure I have a discount coupon if you decide to buy it. I'll have that all listed below. Um, I mentioned that this is kind of an introduction, so this gets you using it. Download the free trial, uh, initialize your images, start using it, see what it does. 
in my next video, I'll go into a little more detail. We'll do some more sophisticated searches and I'll talk about that search panel that I mentioned that I don't like to use, but I'll show you how that works in my next video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.